Someone always said I should be in television. You don't want to miss this. yourself, Dark Knight. It only gets harder from here. Out of this cell. It's me, Cash. I'm needed out there. I can help you. I'm the only person here you can rely on, Batman. Come on, man. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. You rescued the wrong warden. He's an imposter. You know how many freaks are in this place. You can't leave me locked up in here. Batman, it's me, the Warden. You know me! The boss don't want you hurt too bad. Said something about you being the perfect bait. Don't get it. You're nothing special. Who's gonna save you? Yeah. And just in case someone does decide to try, we're ready and waiting. 
but Batman will stop you. You know he will. The Bat. I'm not scared of the Bat. You see he go over there? He has a thing for Blade. speaker rush immediately to answer as seconds mean lives yes, yes sir calling dr howard dr fine dr howard calling dr howard dr fine dr howard <laughs>
okay? I'm fine, Jim. Where's Quinn? Gone. Must have gotten loose while Bane was throwing you around. My journey lasted little over a month. Visiting academics in both Metropolis and Keystone, I was exposed to a wealth of new ideas. So, what you gonna do when we're finally out of here? Hey, I've got a cousin in Metropolis who needs some heavies for his security company. You know, knocking on doors, collecting money. Breaking some legs if they don't pay. Good times. You want in? I could put in a good word. Sounds great. I'm up for that. these security gates. Before she died, she told me there's a production plant hidden somewhere in the gardens. The Wayne Tech security protocols seem to be hack-proof. We just did a good job. It's a two-part biometric sequence, apparently generated by the warden, using a code sequencer. Talk about employee relations, Bats. Harley disappointed me, and now she's out of the picture. Gone, forgotten, dead to me. <laughs> you get the idea. What's it like in your organization? Do you punish your hired help when they fail you? Or is that saucy outfit you make him wear punishment enough? So here's the deal. If you could find a way to get to Harley without anyone realizing... I'll give you your next present. Fail, and they will cut a die. Hell, I may even give you Harley. <laughs> it looks like you could use a new sidekick.
Quinzo. Call me Harley. Everyone does. I'm surprised you want to intern here at Arkham. I've always had a thing for extreme personalities. You can't deny there's an element of glamour to these super criminals. I warn you right now, these are hardcore psychotics. Most would rather kill you than speak to you. I'm sure I'll be fine, Doctor. They'll eat you for breakfast. I mean it. One or two of them will enjoy it too. Be careful. Harleen Quinzel? Call me Harley. Everyone does. I must admit, I was surprised you wanted to intern here at Arkham. Well, I've always had an attraction for extreme personalities. You can't deny there's an element of glamour to these super criminals. I'll warn you right now. These are hardcore psychotics. They'd eat a novice like you for breakfast. Care to tell me how these got in my office? Simple, really. I put them there. Why? You don't like flowers? I think the guards would be interested to know you've been out of your cell. Oh, if you really were going to tell, you already wouldn't. How do you know I haven't already? Oh, sweet. I like you. I really do. Even your name. Rework it a bit and we get... Harley Quinn, like the clown. I know. I've heard it before. It's a name that puts a smile on my face. It makes me think there's someone here I can relate to. Someone who might like to hear my secrets. Care to tell me how this got in my office? I put it there. I think the guards would be interested to know you've been out of your cell. If you really were going to tell, you already would have. You know, sweets, I like what I've heard about you, especially the name, Harley Quinzel. Rework it a bit, and you get Harley Quinn. Like the clown character Harlequin, I know. I've heard it before. It's a name that puts a smile on my face. It makes me feel there's someone here I can relate to. Someone who might like to hear my secrets. Again, Batsy, hand over your milk money. I think it's a unanimous decision. I am the greatest. I once saved an unfortunate inmate from leaping off into the rocks below. I found a cave entrance and over the years have moved a number of supplies here. It's a regular home away from home. Alfred's cure will have to wait. With Batgirl and Robin infected, returning to the mansion in the cave is too risky. Fortunately, I have other resources. A home away from home. Good afternoon. Today I thought I'd skip 
back to our previous conversations about your family. Of course. I was born in a small fishing village. I always wanted to join the circus, but my father wouldn't really let me. I don't believe you. My father was a cop. One week from retirement with a mob. I've seen the movie. What are you scared of? Scared? Sometimes I remember it one way, sometimes another. If I'm going to have a past, I prefer it to be multiple choice. There were these two guys in a lunatic asylum. Oh, hell, you've heard that one before, haven't you? <laughs> you know, it's funny. This reminds me of a joke. See, there were two guys locked in a lunatic asylum. Why didn't you stop Batman? Doing? You're doing what any sane man in your appalling circumstances would do. You're going mad. What's it doing? I've got your scent, Batman. Patient interview, Waylon Jones, a.k.a. Killer Crocker. Last night, the patient was pacified after a breakout attempt. Guardian Cash is in hospital. Reports state that the patient attacked Cash and in the struggle consumed his left hand. He's just food to me, and once I get a taste, I want the rest of the meal. You know I mean. Get him out of here, now. Got your scent too, lady. I'll see you around. Tick, tock, tick, tock. I am the spirit of Amadeus Arkham. Even though Amadeus had long since passed, his spirit lived on, surviving, moving through the walls of his asylum. They brought the animal before me, shameless and barking like a mad dog. For what felt like days, I endured his boasts. What should have been revenge turned to pity. This poor dog needed my help. <laughs> 